Hello and welcome to New Meta episode 39. TI season is so nearly upon us, so it's time for some predictions. We'll be going through all of our compendium predictions, heroes, teams, players, tournament, the New Meta seal of approval. Joining me as always, Marco and Adam. Marco, welcome to the pod. Thank you. Ready for some big brain predictions or yeah. how, how risky are we feeling? I mean, I'm not some super try-hard Kino on the prediction points game. I know there's a lot of time can be invested into this, but I feel like I've got a decent shot to do quite well. And I'd be looking, I'd be excited to argue for it against certain predictions. That, that'll be fun. So I'm looking forward to this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you're, I don't want to say cheapskate, but you're oh. like lowly, lowly leveled compendium. You're a, a strong-minded individual. Um, let's put it that way. Oh, yeah. So these points are precious for you. Hopefully you can slap some predictions and some fancy points up, double your level or something. Yeah, I'm a feeble level 39 right now. What are you? <laughs> Me? Uh, I'm a hundred and something. You're 209. Did you oh, buy 209. something? Yeah, I got the deal. I got the like uh, okay. the special deal thing where you get a bunch of treasures and levels for a certain amount. I can't remember. Um, Adam looks down on us both as peasants though so I'm like I'm like the middle class yeah. working man Adam's like the aristocrat he's nearly didn't... four digits on his battle pass level I didn't say anything <laughs> I feel like Marco should be taking it more seriously though as it's, it's only like legit shot at points that yeah. in a fantasy team yeah. I mean yeah I'm gonna take fantasy fairly seriously in the sense of do a team every day that has players playing and then yeah. these predictions i've given a little bit of thought about but i've not done any oh let's look at last year's or let's look at other people's um suggestions i've just done it on my own back yeah that's how i've done it other than i think the tournament the tournament section which we'll get onto at the end i think i looked at um i think i looked at last year's for that but the players teams and heroes i mean that it's kind of irrelevant what last year was because they're all to do with the meta pretty much. So, um, before we get onto the predictions, we'll do a little games stint as usual. Adam, I'll start with you. Have you been up to much in the Dota verse? Uh, I stopped playing ranked. I played two unranked games of Support Lion yesterday. Ugh. One, and they were like twenty minute stomps because unranked matchmaking is wild. Yeah, man. Unranked is a weird place. For the longest of times, I was wildly underrepresented. Like, I'd jump into a an unranked game and it would feel like the system's treating me as if I'm 2k, which it probably was because my party of was 2k. But now, I'm actually... Unranked isn't just a joke for me. Well, th this so was I'm unranked even... solo. Right. So even more of a degenerate thing to do. Yeah. And... Yeah. I had like immortals on my team, ranked immortals, and the other team had people with, you know, like 30 commands on their account. It was kind of weird. You know, 30 matches. Probably just new account central. Mm -hmm. um, and then playing to support axe, a four axe, so that was fun. Cool, the classic new meta, four axe. Yeah, easy win. A little bit of that. You've been up to much, Marco, games wise, since we've last talked. It's only been, what, well, it's only been a few days. Yeah, so the only games I've played have been two with Brother Joe, actually. He oh, was uh, nice. up in Wigan for a couple of days, and one morning we we slotted into Unranked together. I played Lena in both of them, position four Lena. And it's, I've never done that before, but I remember one of you two, I think maybe Adam said in OR2DL, a high-ranked support would always go Lena, because then you can just transition it into a greedy core basically and it was kind of like that the first game was a classic um it wasn't our fault we lost but we may have had like a combined 20 death tally by 10 minutes so that was a problem uh but the second game was super sick i think joe was pudge and i was lena was stomping it yeah classic. Oh, that's good to see back to back lena yeah it was fun on it was really fun playing as pos4 it was spellcaster lena Ether Lens plus the Talon. I'm just casting spells from range. There was one moment in the second game where 
I'm basically stood at our tier fours, Radiant. Enemy team are semi getting onto our mid lane high ground. And as the retreating, I land a three man LSA from so far away. It's a ravage. It's just so sick. Really fun. Hmm. Adam flaming me. What's going on? I'm not here. <laughs> what are you t- I'm not f- I haven't said a single word, sir. This is getting on the, the video recorder. You're just you're just treating the Reddit Dota 2 League acronym like you would, you know, Ools or Ethelens or whatever. Any of your other pronunciations. D2 RL. RD2L. You said O R2 D L. Yeah, you just threw a O in there. That's an acronym that's, that's hard. The original Reddit to Dota League. Yeah. Yeah. Well, my games. I was on a I was on a six loss streak. I played three games today, two losses, one win. But the win was a fat double down plus fifty, so saved saved my bacon a little bit. Um I have to see where that takes me. I have said before I'm a streaky player, so hopefully after six L's in a row, one W is just gonna bring on some more W, so we'll have to see about that. I will say though, on my profile I've got ten green arrows in a row. But nice. five of those games were losses, so green arrow losses. So whatever. What can you do? I will say that I have uh, all red except for one. All red arrows except for one, but I'm uh, 50-50, so feels good. Yeah. Well, I mean, when you play something like position four axe, it's kind of hard to get a green because it That's will compare true. all your stats to when you played core axe. So there you are. Yeah, I mean, let's jump into the predictions. And we'll skip the most important prediction of all, which is whether we'll see TB Ags. I think last pod we covered that one pretty thoroughly. Yeah, um, why isn't it this one like a 200-point you know, 200, 200 point prediction? 200 point, will, yeah. will TB get an Ags yeah. at any point during the main event? Will um, TB be picked at any point during the main event? That's a true point. That's a very true point. Let's start with heroes, because that is kind of the most interesting, probably. Well, I don't know what's the most interesting. Heroes, teams. Let's go heroes. I'll start things off with my most picked hero. Um, I'm going with Crystal Maiden. Marco, thoughts? Or what's yours, Am thoughts? Um, just, well, shall I say what I chose yeah, do you sure. want, I think you should say why you chose CM. I'd be interested to yeah. hear. Um, because I think it's I think it's good. It hasn't been nerfed. It was already strong, and it sort of survived the mini nerf patches that we've been having. The ult is ridiculously strong with the armor, like stupidly strong. It's a really safe opener, and the aura is just always good. It can fit into so many lineups. So I just think we'll see CM picked a lot as a position five. I was considering going um, Shadow Demon as well. Um, I know a lot of people are really liking things like Grimstroke and Omni. I think Grimstroke and Omni are liable to be banned at the start. Yeah, you have to think about that. I do think Crystal Maiden won't be banned ever. in the. Fir- I don't think a team's ever going to first phase ban Crystal Maiden. They might stretch to ban a Shadow Demon if this hero turns out to be broken good. Probably they won't, but they might. And I, I just think CM is really good and it's ti so you play what you know as the tournament goes on cm's just safe man that aura is just good you can first phase a fat arcane aura and it's just feels really nice so that's pretty much why i've gone for crystal maiden yeah it's pretty solid my thinking on this one was so yeah you've got to think who doesn't get banned but then i've gone for the who could get picked and be played in a four or five position so i've gone for shadow shaman because i think Mm. he's a very common four role but then teams will often run him as a five as well and yeah. it's not a hero that you first face ban in and it, it fits into a lot of lineups it's a very strong all-around hero so that's, i've gone for shadow shaman yeah man shadow shaman's such a good hero i mean in pubs <laughs> in pros also but whoa. adam i don't know if have you done your heroes yet because i know for some of them you're on you you're, some of them some of them yeah. What, you, what are your thoughts around most picks? I went with Enchantress. So, <laughs> so Sproink? Yeah. She's I feel like she's really strong. She might be one of those heroes that they're like uh boot camping around, saving, and then all of a sudden like where did all these Enchantress picks come from? Kinda like last TI. 
because uh, yeah, they Lost revamped her heel and she got like armor and a lot of stuff and she feels really disgusting in lane and she can be a three or a support so there's a bit of flexibility there maybe maybe some flex picks booster pick rate but i don't think she'll get banned per se so yeah that'll be an interesting one to see what happens to Ench. Like you said, last TI, it was the Ench Shaker opener. That was like the best opener, as it turned out. Yeah. Um, most banned hero. Uh, I'm going with Chen. I just think Chen is really, really good. And there are, it's just so annoying that I think it will be banned all the time. Um, I think especially in the group stages, just going into the tournament when the meta is still undecided, people will just ban Chen. He's got a cra- he's crazy global presence teleport thing. Crazy like push and laning with creeps. Uh, he's been banned a lot this whole DPC season. I know he has been touched up a lot, and who actually knows what Chen does. But regardless of what he does, I just think he'll be banned a lot. I was considering maybe Io, but I just don't know if Io is any good at the moment. It might just be bad. But I do think Chen will be picked up a lot. Um, so along with the uh, your reasoning for Chen, I went with Io as my most banned. Right. It's like who knows if it's actually good. I think it is still good. Yeah. But I haven't played it. I haven't had it in any of my games because no one no one plays it. But I hmm. think the Wispy Boy is always highly valued. Um, especially at TI, yeah. At TI. And especially as what you said, Chen with global presence, Io is also global presence. It's about all he is anymore. So hmm. I was had the exact same thoughts and I was choosing between Chen and Io. And I've gone for Chen because I think with these IO changes that uh, teams might feel more, feel happier to let it through. Um, But I think Chen is maybe a bit more consistently OP in the eyes of these pro teams is the feel that I'm going for. So I feel like Chen would just be a first phase ban a a bit more uh, often than the IO. I think a lot, it's like we saw at one tournament, eventually IO it got to the point when people weren't even picking or banning it. But I feel like, I think that was the Birmingham tourney. But I feel like with Chen, it'll, it'll always just be, mm, let's ban it. Or if we don't ban it, we want to pick it. But because it's so strong, it'll just get banned all the time. So I've got Well, the other thing well. is that it's global pressure early, <laughs> right? You don't have to get the level six. Yeah. So that is probably higher value. Free lane swaps and stuff like that. Yeah. If you want them, if you want to level it that way. I was considering like Omni Knight and Grimstroke for the most banned. Um, another some other outside shouts. If you're if you think one of those heroes um, will be banned a lot, then it's super reasonable for go for one of them. But yeah, uh, yeah, I was Iyer. considering uh, Grimstroke for most picked, honestly. Yeah. But then I, so. I just didn't want to do that to my enchanters, my lady. <laughs> so yeah, and I do think five Omni Knight will be seen a lot. That's mm-hmm. a that's a. Yeah interesting thing turns out if you max heavenly grace you can win a lot of lanes <laughs> true hero with the highest win rate minimum five games played i'm i'm going with the geomancer i'm going with meepo for this i do Ooh. think he'll i think last ti he didn't get picked five times but i actually think at this ti he will be picked five times i think he's relatively stronger than he was last ti Plus, I think more players are, have learned this hero. Like Miracle has played it this season. Mid One's played it this season, as well as the usual suspects like Abed and Weha. Obviously, on Team Liquid, there's a lot of chances that Meepo will come out there. Um, so I think I think if Meepo sees five games, he's going to have the highest win rate because that teams will only pick him last pick in a good Meepo game. So that's my reasoning there. Yeah, I. I th- I think I might have contemplated Meepo. It's definitely going to be some cheesy esque last pick hero that wins this win rate category. I've gone for Broodmother for right. similar reasons of it'll get picked in a game it can steamroll. Hoping, yeah, can see it getting picked five times in the tournament, win all five. Mm. Yeah. Brood's an interesting one because in previous TIs, teams like VP and Liquid have like opened with a with a brood mother. I don't think True. the hero's in in I don't think the hero's that strong anymore at the moment. Not as cheesy just, as it used to be. That's true. So not 
I don't. So what I was going to say that means could just because it's not as strong, teams will be more likely to only pick it in like good brood games, which yeah makes it a better shout. Um, yeah, it's an interesting one. It'll be interesting to see if it is one of the cheese heroes, sort of like a Meepo Huskar brood. I, I'd be. I think there's a pretty strong chance it won't be. I think there's a strong chance it will be like a lesser picked core um, that isn't necessarily seen as a cheese. Um, what are your thoughts for most highest win rate, Adam? Yeah, I think the most likely scenario is it's a low picked hero that has a very strong matchup as a tenth pick. So mm-hmm. like a Husker <clears throat> or a Monkey King. I was thinking Monkey King also. Yeah. I also thought Brood. Uh yeah, just something like a gotcha pick. Kinda how C C and C when it was Nip against VP last year. They just picked Husker into a Dragon Knight, and they just won solely off of that. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to go with Monkey King. So nice. I like he that. might have, he might have some. He might be played a little bit more than five games. I think. I don't think he'll be one of the most popular cores, but I do think he'll be. He'll meet the five game requirement, and mm-hmm. he does have some pretty uh, solid melee matchups. So. I like it. Um, Hero with highest kill average. I wasn't so sure about this one. I actually changed this one just before we recorded. I was going to go with Sven, but then I just thought, I don't think it'll be Sven. So I'm going to go with Klinks, the skeleton man, the clonkers himself. Um, This hero's good. Burning Army's a good spell. And Klinks gets a lot of kills. That's kind of the whole point. Um, I'm not so confident on this one. I just sort of thought, yeah, Klinks sounds like he'll get a bunch of kills. I don't know if anyone else has got some got a more confident pick. My thinking on this one was similar to the the cheesy highest win rate hero pick. Um, because, yeah, if I think of Sven or Klinks, I think in games they do well, they'll do really well, but then I don't think they'll do really well every game because like, Sven's very flavor one role. So losing teams are going to have that yeah. hero on their team yeah. and water down the average. So for uh, highest kill average, I've got Meepo for that idea of it's get. I, I mean, I'm not super familiar with where it is in the meta right now, but my idea of Meepo is it's going to be low pick rate, but when it's picked, it's going to be dominant and likely smash games or and therefore get high kills. So mm. I've got Meepo. Minimum five game, like plays five, six games and smashes all of them. Interesting. The thing with high skill averages, you want a hero that doesn't necessarily just end the game. The thing, my hesitation with Meepo True. would be if yeah. it's a great Meepo game, they'll win a team fight at 25 minutes and then just end. Meepo will just farm before that. But so, yeah, I know what you're saying. I think it's quite easy for the average to get watered down, though. Because even if you go mid yeah, late true. game and a, a hero gets like 20 kills, mm, there'll be a, I think there'll be a lot of games where they, they're still only getting don't. 10, <laughs> because even if they win or lost. Yeah, oh, I see it. But yeah, it's a, yeah, it was an interesting one. Adam, have you got any any thoughts for highest kill average? Who are you going with? Uh, PA. Good shout. I want to go with PA because she kills people. <laughs> but I don't think she'll be played a lot. So maybe she has a few games and just has a high average. Yeah. The, the good part about PA is the good teams are more likely to play her because I know Nisha and Arme both love a PA and obviously LGD and Secret are two of the top teams, so... Yeah, this is more, do I think it's going to get picked five times? Because I don't necessarily think right. it's the strongest carry. Um, yeah. But I could see people running lineups. Maybe IOPA, maybe just some type of, maybe Ogre PA, the new Bloodlust. Oh. But then there's also, I mean, maybe like a Quab, right? Will have the highest skill. It's just some like mid that blows a bunch of spells. Maybe Lena. I don't know. Hmm. I'm gonna go with PA though, because dra- crit dagger. Yeah, I like it. I, I was I was thinking Queen of Pain as well for that one. Um, Hero was highest assist average, minimum five games played. Um, I think this one. Uh, oh, actually, I'm gonna change this right now. I have Zeus, but I'm actually gonna change it to Spirit Breaker. Oh, um, I have Zeus, and I'm sticking with Zeus. Okay. Well, Adam, what do you reckon? Uh. Well, Zeus think... is classic, and then Spectre is classic. 
They're the classic two, yeah. Press and one button and you've got five assists. The prediction I looked at had Knicks, which I think is kind of interesting. Um, a lot of stuns. The Spirit Breaker, like whenever I play it, I get a ton of assists. But it's like, is it going to get played? Do the is it as uh, egregious? Is it as good in a pro game as it is in a pub game? I think it will. It will definitely be picked quite a bunch. I think. It's well, I guess you don't, you don't have to win. <laughs> You're still going to get a lot of assists as Spirit Breaker, even if you lose. So, yeah. I think I'll go with Spectre to be different. Okay, well, I like it. So we have I a think, Zeus, a Spec, and a SB. Yeah, um, I think they're. I think it will be one of them, probably. <laughs> if it, it, it's a much smaller pool of picking for that particular category with the assists. Hero with lowest death average. Um, I. I'm not sure about this one. I kind of want to hear other people's answers first and then I might change. Marco, go on, you can lead us off. So I've gone with Spectre, thinking that she's a hero that is just naturally hard to kill and is a very passive hero, just farming, farming, farming until the late game. Even in games where it's going badly, Spectre, these are pro players, like if they're playing Spectre properly, they should not be dying. It's, it's uncommon. For a Spectre to have a lot of deaths anyway, just by nature of the hero. But then in the games where she's winning, it's not like she's... I mean, she shouldn't be putting herself at risk of dying, and she should still just be farming, farming, and maybe get involved with some haunts. But generally, I think this is as a carry, and the play style of this hero as a carry hero is definitely one of the most defensive and passive. And it's one of the hardest to kill, so then all just feeds into win or lose, typically this hero's got low deaths, in my eyes at least anyway. Um, so that's why I've, I've gone for Spectre. And I think it would be a hero in the one role that would have the lowest death average, which is then why I'm within that yeah. category, I, I think, Spectre. Do you consider maybe Anti-Mage or Naga Siren, or do you just think Spectre's just harder to kill and more defensive in general? Yeah, I think both points, yeah. Slightly more defensive, slightly harder to kill, because tank slightly more tanky defensive hero in nature um and then he mid late game it's a harder kill to get again anti-mage you could easily catch out and kill even naga i feel like is a bit more active in a game so it's gonna be right. and again doesn't have dispersion just not as naturally fat so i think has a bit more chance to leak a, a few more deaths Adam, thoughts on this category? Lowest death average? No love for Wraith King with the built-in second life. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I saw a list that said Lone Druid, and I really don't know if I'm going to see Lone Druid five games. I reckon, I reckon Lone Druid will pop up five games. I don't know if he'll die. I don't know if I'll have the fewest deaths. Though. It's an interesting shout, though. Their reasoning was that you're very punished <laughs> for dying on Lone Druid, so people don't want to die on Lone Druid. <laughs> like that, it's... That does follow. Um, Slark can have low deaths. True. It's kind of it's just like what carry do you think is going to roll through? I mean, anti mage is slippery. It's not like an anti mage dies eight times when they even lose, you know? Yeah. Usually dies like three times. I think mm. I'll go anti mage just because most of the time they're not even around the team. Right. Um. I have Arc Warden down, but I'm going to change it because I just think Arc Warden is really easy to kill until sort of 20, 25 minutes into the game. Like, I think a lot of times people will gank him mid. Um, I, I'm convinced my Marco Spectre argument. I'm going to go Spectre. Yes, I, do think, I do think Meepo is an interesting shout because if, if Meepo dies more than twice, or if Meepo dies three times, say, the game just ends. So even if even in games where you lose, you're only going to have like three deaths. So that's what I thought about. But I, I don't want to put Meepo. I think I'll put I'll put Spectre. Um, I think Medusa Nag another interesting count. Ooh, yeah, Medusa is interesting. I think Naga is similar to Spectre and could also see low deaths because she's off very AFK a lot of the time. Just illusions. Um, mm. Do so if you like in the games where she loses or a team gets nailed, she will die a handful of times because you'll just get snowballed and she'll be in the woods farming and die because she's squish useless. I feel like 
in the bad games of a Niagara or a Spec, they'd still have less deaths. But yeah, yeah, we'll see. Here with the highest last hit average, I'm a little bit more confident with this one. I think I think this will be Naga, um, for self-explanatory reasons. It will be like a crazy carry. I know. I don't know about what you guys have put, but people have popular picks of things like Anti Mage and um, Spectre are just hard carries. Obviously, Terra Blade too. Um, although I think Naga Siren is would be my premier choice out of those position ones. Um, what yeah, have you guys put? I've got the exact same. I think out of these hard carry heroes, she's the one with the tendency to go longest and to stretch the game out the most. Like an anti mage can come online at 25 and end it by 30. I feel like Nagas are happy to go 40, 50 before, it's, before the game's over. And yeah, her illusions farm like a monster. And she comes online so early. It's not like you need to wait for some 18 minute battle fury in like a kind of average below average anti-mage game um literally you get level seven not even that like at level five and you can just throw illusions onto camps and they'll just burst them down um so even in a bad naga game you're still going to soak up loads of last hits in a bad naga game you're going to look to drag it as long as you yeah. can because this stat is all about where the longest games are going to be so that you can rack up all those last hits and i think naga does Will be look will be dragging games long, more so than other hard carries. I went with Albert the Chemist, <laughs> Mister Alchemist. So he's gonna yeah, I, he's gonna hit a lot of creeps. My concern with Alchemist be, is that the game would end too quick. Or he he'd win it. Yeah, I don't know. It. He's gonna have like three hundred plus last hit average again. I feel like. Yeah, just no matter what. Naturally, yeah, just. That's like his floor. Yeah. So. No, I like it. I saw someone else put Alchemist, I think. Um, I wonder He's when not my get... choice for most last hits in a game, but I think he'll have the highest average. Right, right, right. Okay. Um, I wonder when we're going to get to our first like, full agreement. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, surely. Hero I think with... it could be the next one. You reckon? I, I like the way you're talking. Hero with the highest XPM average... We say on the count of three. <laughs> no, oh, I'm well confident we're all saying the same hero. All right, go on then. Count of three. You can count us in. All right. One. Oh, wait, do I, do I have to have one? I need. Yeah, to... you gotta have one. You gotta have okay, one. Okay, I have one. After all three. Right. One, two, three. Alchemist. Meepo. <laughs> Meepo. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, Meepo. Yeah. <laughs> can I change my? Marco's so calm. Well, we don't, you can. We're not counting in again, though. Maybe you I bu- thought you've blown that one. Oh, maybe I thought it was GP. Maybe I read GPM. Maybe I read GPM. Yeah, you, you had to have read GPM. Sure. Surely I'm not that retarded. <laughs> Alchemist uh, is not a bad shout, uh, but... He does get it's... 25 quick, but you are right with the Meepo. Yeah, it's not as crazy as it was before. It, back in the day, before they changed the, the way the clones got XP, so that they got a lot less... It was, if Meepo has played five times at TI, he will guarantee win this category. Um, but now, actually, if you look on things like Dota Buff at, you know, they do the top heroes XPM average. Meepo's usually at the top, but he's only at the top by a little bit. And there are other heroes like... Um, Arc Warden. Med- Medusa and Arc Warden, yeah, that are very close to him. Um, I'm going to stick with Meepo. If I wasn't going Meepo, I'd probably go Medusa. Um, yeah, we'll see. I would go Arc Warden if I wasn't right. going Meepo. So yeah. double Midas can power level someone pretty fast. But also yeah, you want true. kills and like kills are huge XP in this meta. Right, right. So both of those heroes also kill. Marco, do you want me to count you in for three and you can shout Meepo? Yeah, just edit me in. <laughs> See, I thought about saying Arc Warden. So if we said it on three, it would have been like, Meepo, Arc Warden, and Alchemist. All the yeah. like, what? That would have been a true disaster. Yeah. It's a disaster. Hero with most kills in a game. Um, I've gone with Tinker for this one. Ugh. There's going to be a there's going to be a Tinker game that's dragged out because there's a Tinker in it. And he's going to mm. build Dagon and Hex and explode 20 heroes in a game. What have you guys gone for? I've gone for this Storm. This one's tough. Yeah, it's a tough one. It is a it's tough one. It's kind of yeah. random. Storm's not a bad shout. 
I think there could be a long game where Storm gets a lot of kills. Not much more to it. I think I'm going to, as an ode to TI-8, go with Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Maybe we'll get another Sumail Tiny that has 31 kills uh, and then loses. Yeah, that was wild. 31 kills. My goodness. Tossed Arteezy into the tier fours. Never forget. Uh, hero with most last hits in a game. I think this one we've got a good chance of all doing the same one. Um, we won't count in, though. I've gone with Naga again for this one. I, so, too, um, have gone with Naga. Oh, I've gone with Naga. Wow, the triple Could Naga. Counted in. <laughs> I was thinking maybe anti-mage. Um, some crazy late-game anti-mage that's just blowing around getting a trillion last hits, but I think Naga just pips him for me. I presume we're on the same wavelength. It's just so. that you're shoving all these waves with illusions or hitting jungle camps as opposed to, you know, as anti made shoving out one wave in the jungle. Let's go... Actually, let's save teams till last. Let's okay. do that. Let's go tournament. This is probably the most boring category, so you can jump yeah. through this one. Uh, total games played at the main event. Marco, you don't have to explain yourself. Unless 50, you want to. 50 to 54. Um, snap, snap. It was the second highest category you could do. <laughs> Sounds about... I think I don't think we'll have max saturation of games. I think we'll have just a bit less. I went for the second highest category. Yeah, I also went for that. I also went for 50 to 54. Oh, snap. Nice. I think... There will be, you just gotta, it's just how many best of threes do you think are gonna go to three games? Yeah. And I think TI, I like it when TI goes to three games. So I think it will. People are scrapping, they're trying as hard as they can. Yeah. And uh, 50 to 54, you don't actually have to depend on the grand final to go to five games either. Cause I feel like you need it to go to five games to get the, the last one 50 to 55 to 60. Because 60 is the max, so right. it's really tough to get yeah, to that uh, top tier. Total heroes picked and total heroes banned. I'm actually pretty confident for this one. I've gone with 101 plus for both. I think I'm super confident that 101 plus heroes will be banned. Um, picked, I'm less confident, but I still think that we'll see 101 plus heroes picked. How many heroes are there in the game, by the way? One... Quick- 15, 116 or something? Yeah. Okay, so a quick fif- Google said 14 one. heroes could not be picked and we'll still get 101 plus. Yeah. I'm flip flopped from you. I'm confident in that there will be 101 plus picked. Right. But I have 91 to 100 for banned. Okay. Oh, you didn't have 101 plus picks, Dan? No, I do. I've got 101 plus for both. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you were more. Go on. Yeah. Or just Stan was more skeptical of the picked being yeah, 101 right. plus, even though he went with it. Oh, okay. I'm pretty confident on the 101 plus picked. So we've all got that. Yeah. yeah. And then banned, I've gone 71 to 80. So about, uh, maybe that's too low. Maybe I'll notch it up to 81 to 90. Mm, 81 to 90, let's do that. Okay. I can say last year it was 101 plus. Oh, was it? Both, I think. I'm not 100% sure. That don't quote me on that actually. I know one of them um, was, but the other wasn't. I can't remember which way around it was. Or maybe they both were. Who knows? I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Most combined total kills in a game. I've gone eighty one to ninety. Um I think last year it was ninety one to hundred. There was some super long game. So I I actually based the, both this prediction and the one after longest game of the tournament, in which I've gone eighty to ninety. Both of those are I took last year's correct results and b- moved them down one, based on nothing really. But I just have a feeling that the game there won't be the same crazy long game as last time. I don't really know, but I've gone eighty to ninety for time and eighty-one to ninety for kills. Well, I have gone seventy to seventy-nine fifty-nine for right. longest game. So I think we'll get one that's over an hour, but it won't be too much longer. Right. No, uh, gosh, I can't remember that TI4 game. 
That might have been like two hours long. Well, there was a VP Liquid game at TI7 that was like an hour and 20. Yeah. Um, oh, sorry, 120, rather, as in two hours. Two hours. But not last year. Last year, nothing got like that. And then combined kills, I went with 121 plus. So I went with the, the top. Nice. That's a lot of kills in a game. That's a bloodbath of a game. <laughs> I've snapped Stan 80 minutes to 90 minutes, because I think it'll be like an 80 to 82 minute game longest. And then kills like 40 40 45 45 right. kind yeah. of range I, you can knock yourself out with those ones it's kind of hard to say really Wait, could yeah. be anything. you said with kills you said 45 no so say each team has 45 kills oh okay okay i was like sir <laughs> is that this is a possible prediction <laughs> zero to 50 yeah <laughs> we say don't pick that one anybody don't pick zero to 50 combined kills yeah, that's the only the true piece of advice we can give coming yeah. out of those two predictions. That would be the saddest TI if that was correct. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah. This next one's kind of a fun one. Shortest game of the tournament. This one's easier to get your head around. And I feel like there's only two correct responses. Yeah. You're either going 10 to 15 or you're going 15 to 20. Yeah. I'm going 15 to 20. Me too. Um, well, I'm not. I'm going 10 to 15. I'm going for a like 14, 50 GG out kind of thing. Yeah, in a group like a, stage game. Yeah, in a group stage where it's a beast against the a shitty. I could see like no one, VP no one, just like GGing at like 13 mins in the group stage. <laughs> at, last year, you were correct. Last year, the shortest game was 10 to 15. I think there's only one game that was 10 to 15, but that is all you need. Yeah. So yeah, we'll just see need, about that one. That's close. Need one N18 to get slapped by some powerhouse. Uh, I think you mean SA team, sir? Oh yeah, maybe. Most kills by a hero in a game. Um, 26 plus. Yeah? What, what do you reckon, Marco? I've done 23 to 25. Last year it was 31 by oh. a tiny Sumail. Uh, maybe that might convince me to change then. I was thinking, oh, can someone make that 26? Oh, it's a big number to get. Oh, maybe I'll stick to 23 to 25 because... Yeah, it's a lot. It is a very big number to get. And I don't know if it was anyone was really close until Sumail played that tiny game. And it was just, it was one of those games where nobody, you know, when you're having a game and you just like look up at your score and you're like, what? I've killed 12 heroes. It was <laughs> like that, but it's like 31. Like what? I've just deleted the entire team six times over. Yeah. Sumail was definitely going on his dota whatsapp group after that game complaining that his the rest of his team are trash and he was 31 kills and the team couldn't win or maybe that just reflects badly on me i don't know <laughs> <laughs> most kills by here in a game yeah i went i went 23 25 although i could definitely i could definitely see 26 plus that's a super reasonable thing to predict um perhaps a better prediction than 23 25 i don't know i'll stick to and, my uh, guys, it's, so. it's pretty niche I would want. I'm curious as to how many of, you know, the eight TIs that that has happened. Yeah. Twenty six plus. But looking at my ten predictions for the tournament, I have five of them as plus predictions. Right. Yeah. I just like to take the over and hope. Yeah, uh, hopeful for a monster TI. Yeah. Most deaths by a hero in a game. Um. I could be talked round on this. I put 15 to 17. I have a feeling last year it was 21 plus. Um, but I've gone 15 to 17. Uh, it's a lot of deaths. Yeah, I don't know so, what last year's was, but I've gone 15 to 17 as well. I think that's kind of reasonable number. It's kind of hard to die more times than that, I feel. Maybe if there was one of these 80-minute games, the position five or six could get... Even then, to get 20 would be... To get a quarter of the death, I don't know. Twenty deaths is a lot. Because even if the game was eighty minutes and you predict it goes forty forty and score, you've got forty deaths on your team. Will your pos five slash six really have half oh. of the deaths? Ooh. Yeah, so I've gone fifteen seventeen. I as well went fifteen to seventeen. Whoa! Snap. I think it's hard to die. What is it? Twenty one. Yeah, very hard to die twenty one plus times unless the game goes absurdly long 
And I pros are good at not dying. So. Yeah, yeah. that's true. They are pretty good at not dying. <laughs> Most assists by here in a game, I've gone 36 plus. Yep. Marco? 28 to 31. Okay, I can't. We don't need to talk about that. <laughs> That's kind it's of just, just like, like a random one. Surely there's going to be a spirit breaker or a specter or a Zeus or something, right? That just. But then your, issue, yeah, so. your team has to get more than 36 kills. Even that's quite a lot. Yeah, I just think you need an hour long game. And that'll be hit. 36. Yeah. Is... Mm. yeah, we'll see about that. I'll tell you one prediction that is every year a gimme is this one. Yep. Highest GPM yeah. by hero in a game, a thousand plus. Alchemist is going to have a game and he's going to get a thousand plus. It will happen. It happens every year. So yeah. definitely lock that one in. Now, are there any heroes that can get 1000 GPM besides Alchemist at TI? Meepo? And Anti Mage could, I think. Uh, Meepo won't. That Meepo like, never gets a thousand plus. Anti Mage could, though. I've seen Anti Mage do it. Uh, they're the two that I'd say. I think he's done it at TI. Anti Mage? Yeah. Ah, yeah. But there's not. Yeah, this is, <laughs> this is the will Alchemist get picked at the yeah. tournament? I know. I'm pretty confident it will. It's almost impossible for a pro Alc to not get a thousand in a win. Yeah, in a win, yeah. And it will um, win one game. Let's go players, and we'll finish on teams. Um, and that will probably that will probably be in the group stage too, if I think about it. The one thousand GPM Alc win. That's a, definitely a group stage. Yeah, that, I agree. That a team a picks stage. against a worse team, and then they just like roll the game. Play with the highest kill average. Um, all of the player predictions are kind of random. There's only a few where I would say I'm mildly confident, um, and even then I would I would just say mildly. This one I'm not really confident at all. I've gone with no one. Uh, no one gets a lot of kills. Is Virtus Pro? They're from they're from Russia. They get kills. That's basically all that I thought into it. Virtus Pro, CIS, no one. That was my calculation there. I'm on a similar trend train of thought, and I've gone Ramses, thinking that yeah, n no one does get a lot of kills and makes a lot of kills happen. I think. Yeah, if Ramsey's on no one, I think Ramsey's gonna get more kill secures when he yeah, gets on his one. No one. I could definitely like, change that yeah. to Ramsey's. It's a hard one, but yeah, I could definitely change it to Ramsey's. I'm just thinking like no one does sometimes play like some low kill mids like DK and stuff, and like Ramsey's will just play like TB and morph and just like get kills all the time. So I don't know that one's. Or like no one plays Puck and more utility mid sometimes, whereas Ramsey's is always just playing some, you know, monster position one that gets kills. So I, I might change that to Ramsey's. Adam, do you have a prediction for this one? I went with Anna. He yeah. gets a lot of kills. And that's OG. all I have to say about that. Yeah, James there's going to play OG, well. but I do think he snags a lot of kills. Yeah, team. and their games are quite long on average, so that's probably will help you out in this cat category. Um, player with most kills in a game, I reckon there's a chance we all have the same. I've gone with the answer that would have been correct last year in Sumail. Oh. I don't know about anyone else. I never thought about Sumail. I think I've only really thought about... You don't about... respect the king? Well, sir. I do, massively, <laughs> yeah, but I've gone Anna, because I think he'll get a higher concentration of the team's kills. Whereas I think EG, it wouldn't concentrate as much on Sumail. I know there was that tiny game, that freak game. But yeah, yeah. I think I know. Yeah, you fair, a, I could see Somebody that on a beach? Oh, seagulls. Oh, close seagulls. My window. Oh, I just <laughs> Sorry, seagulls. people. <laughs> seagulls in the background. Sorry, window equals closed. No more seagulls for the listeners. Do you Sorry. live by the sea, sir? I do. Well, I live relatively by the sea i mean i can't see the sea from my house but but close enough to where there's goals there are goals yeah goals are the menace of my hometown and i should let these geese outside my door into my room and then we just have <laughs> a bird cast yeah <clears throat> who do you have for most kills do you have the king as well adam i didn't i touch. have miracle miracle another good answer yeah, yeah. just uh yeah that he'll spike a game and kill yeah. but you know just this is like these are all good choices is just what carry 
mid or carry will get that one game that lines up perfectly and they kill like 25 plus people yeah for sure play with lower staff average i'm actually a little bit more confident than this one because i think a lot a lot i would choose basically when i came to making this prediction it was what team has the position one hero that is most always the absolute pos one sometimes teams like eg you know they'll run a sumail alk or vici the ori loves a Dusa. even um like weha plays a, a plays a, like a meepo and miracle plays bloodseeker or something but i think team secret mid one always plays a tempo mid or like and nisha is always the out and out position one and he just doesn't die so i've gone with nisha for this lowest def secret they're not going to leak many games um so i just think nisha won't die very much but again any carry is a decent choice i've got a similar vein but rather than secret i'm begrudgingly backing beachy gaming to do well and I think they'll go far and they'll be very competent. And so I've put Paparazzi the lowest death average because I think they're a team that disciplines and they'll draw, yeah. uh, they'll, they'll just win games in safe, low death manners. And yeah. You got a fan of the, the soft hand boys? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really enjoy. You don't really take hand softness snorey. into your... Yeah, yeah, it's not a fight. Like the, the, they play, snorey is a snore, though. They play sure. too many Deucer and Trolls, and they're not fun. And they don't, to me, they never play any fun, flashy heroes. They just grind out wins. With so, Chinese. Harsh. With oh, maybe it's Chinese harsh. robotic. Yep, yep. Efficiency. They, that kind of thing. And it's not even like it's a burning anti-mage, which is still sweaty. It's... I just think of deuces and trolls for some reason, and I, I think it's because there was one game they had deuce troll as the one and two, and it's just I can't back a team that does that. So. <laughs> troll's not that bad, is it? What, what, what do you have against troll games? But if what trolls the the one or two, trolls boring. He just hits creep and then goes crazy in a team fight. Or and it's not interesting. I, know, I think as carries go, troll is more interesting. You can get involved. Can, compared mm, to some position ones, like what are you like a Naga Sire and just like Naga is also that's boring. actual Snorri. Yeah. Is... Well, I mean, I can definitely agree with Ori Snorri because he plays Medusa, and even when he plays, like he just plays Medusa, that just is enough. I don't know. If your if your signature hero is Medusa, then oh, <laughs> come on, I mean, that's just questionable. But yeah, I like the paparazzi pick. I could definitely see that also. Adam, what have you got for low stuff? Uh. I went with Ramses, but it's yeah. probably it's like it's really strange. This kind of doesn't make sense because they fight a lot and get a lot of kills, but I feel like he doesn't die a bunch. You'd expect yeah, it's interesting. It to be one of the teams in the grand final that gets this lowest death average because that means they've won the most games and therefore died the least. So if he be make it to the grand final, Ramses will have a low average of deaths because or else he wouldn't have got there. Maybe I should put Arteezy. He had that streak where he had like zero deaths in the. Yeah, Arteezy's a great shout, I think. Yeah. But it could be Miracle, too. Didn't he have a tournament recently where he just didn't die? You know, that's like. Yeah. It'll be a carry. Yeah. I'm going to change yeah. it to Arteezy, actually, because my boys go Bobby on my Blue. boys' EG. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Man, he's got the deadest picture. I just selected him. He's got like these dead, sad eyes, man. I just clicked on him. That's pretty funny, actually. Um, speaking of backing your boys, player with the highest assist average. My only criteria with this with this pick was I'm going to pick a position four that doesn't randomly play like a core. You know, like a Japs or an FY. They sometimes put them on these farming position fours. And I was like, I'm not going to pick one of those then. I just want a hero that always plays like a high assist. Uh, Axe position four, and so I just got. I'm just gone with Jerex, basically based on nothing. It could be any, could be anyone. Honestly, I don't know if anyone's got any be- more interesting thoughts like, than that. Well, you can't put Yapsor because he's going to snipe every single kill <laughs> with Fable. So yeah, it's true. Uh, I thought you were going to say Crit. You're like speaking of the boys, like uh, it, yeah. There's only one boys. It's EG, not OG. So <laughs> what are you talking? <laughs> Hey, whose boys are we talking about over here? The host boys, the the peasantry guest boys. There's something else. Yeah. I mean, it could be 
crit. It could be. Could definitely be crit. Yeah. It could be anybody. Could be GH. It could, could be Yang or Fade. Yeah. Or DY. <laughs> could be Fade for sure. Could be Pylai Die. It's not going to be Pylai Die. He's going to be fine. <laughs> de- if there is a highest death average, I'd put Pylai Die. But yeah. Marco, who are you feeling for highest assist? Exactly. I've gone for no one. I never really thought oh, really? position fours. I thought more who's going to be playmaking in the mid. Yeah, they get kills, but I feel like they do. They can easily share the kill involvement with the position with any other hero. And so, yeah, I thought who's this active playmaking mid? I feel like no one could have a lot of assists in every game. I like it. I like that we don't just have post fours. I could see. No I one would be interested fade. to see. That's what I went with. Fade. Yeah. Yeah. Good shout. Most assists in the game. I mean, this is basically the same Who discussion that we've just had. Zeus. Yeah. yeah. Who I've just gone. Zeus? Yeah. I mean, Fy and Yaps are Zeus players. I've gone. I've gone for GH though. I don't know if he plays Zeus, but I've just gone for GH. A lot of wisp balls. Yeah. In a similar vein to my no one mid player highest assist average, I've gone for Wii to get the most assists in the game. Just thinking Mm -hmm. some active long game where there's a lot of playmaking involved in every kill kind of thing. Yeah. I'll go with FY God. FY God. Player with highest last hit average. Um, I've gone with Paparazzi. Vici Gaming, Snorzy Gaming, ROTK. He's going to hit a lot of creeps at some point, and in fact, at all points. So yeah, Paparazzi suits me fine. I was considering Nisha again for the same reason as Lois Deaths, but I'll mix it up a bit and go for go for Papa. Yeah, I've done the exact same. <laughs> for the exact same Papa. reason. Paparazzi. Yeah. China's father. Uh, I'm going with Nisha for the next two. Okay. So. Oh, well, I'm most, joining you on the next one. Yeah, most in a game and highest average. Right. Yeah, I've, I've gone for Nisha most in the game. He'll play an anti-mage or something, I'm just gonna, or a Naga. He plays yeah. both of those heroes. and uh, I'm thinking Hopefully he plays a Naga and he gets me a thousand points, because he'll have the most less hits in the game on a Naga, who has Perfect. the most less hits. Yeah. Yeah. I've gone for Anna, on an Anna Naga. OG go for a notoriously long game. He hits the most mm-hmm. last hits. That's what I've done. Yeah, well, I think it's a good shout, the Anna. Yeah, yeah. It's a good I, I think Nisha and Secret won't sweat out a game as long as OG need to. Yeah. Play with most GPM in a game. Who plays Alchemist? The I king. Know one. The king oh, of Alchemist. He is the king. Yeah. I've gone Sumel. I heard Marco. Yeah. I went with no one Alchemist. Okay, I didn't realize he played Alk. I mean, he I played. Think... They all. Yeah, they all. I'm pretty all. sure he does. I feel like VP would be the type of team to just do do on some group stage team with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I EG, could definitely see that. I think EG are definitely running an Alk in the group stage at some point. Fly loves an Alchemist. Fly drafting is just Alk all over it. Like when OG used to do those true sites. You know that there's like a Kiev major true site back when Fly was on yeah. OG, and the whole true site flies just like every time in the post game. He's like, oh, I just going to try and alchemist them this game and then it's like game two and he's like ah, i'm just going to try and alchemist them this game <laughs> literally every game and then eventually they do um or something like that can't remember exactly how it goes but yeah fly loves an alchemist female loves an alchemist so there you are player with highest gpm average what do you guys reckon for this one papa paparazzi oh, do i go with a papa? third a third nisha is that <laughs> i could go a miracle i don't know Ah, uh, you'd be joining me if you went Miracle. Interesting. I've gone Miracle. I think um, I, Liquid are a strong team right now, but again, I'm begrudgingly anticipating Vici to go a long way. And then, yeah. and obviously within that, the carry is going to be amassing a lot of gold and Vici, a, lot, a team which will drag out games more so than other dominant teams, I feel. So yeah, that's why I've done Papa. And I'm big on Secret for this TI, so Nisha. Yeah. Player with the job. most... Yeah. Player with the most different heroes. Thoughts for this one? Mid one. Yeah, that's a good shout. I could definitely see mid one for sure. He's like the new age uh, 
Mushi. Just pick any. Does Mushi pick used to be the like guy. Like... Mushi he's... is, yeah, crazy. He'd have 16 in 16 games kind of thing. Does Midwell not just grind TA Ember Monkey? He I mean, lone he plays a, a bunch heroes. of stuff. Yeah, he yeah. plays. He plays everything. He might not play them often, but he does play literally everything. Like he plays Meepo and Lone Druid and Arc Warden. He plays so much weird stuff. They're he gonna has every throw out on one offs of just weird things I can't even come up with. Top of my head. Yeah. You also um, want a team that's going to play a lot of games to then win this category. True, most yeah. different heroes. So the secret one is yep. a decent shout. I've gone for no one. Thinking VP will go decently far in that. I think he plays a lot of different stuff. Yeah, I like it. I've gone with FY God. He so plays good. a bunch of heroes coming out of position four. He played That's a Queen great. of Pain pause four. So if you're playing Quop pause four, I can only imagine that must be quite far down the list. So you hopefully That's have That's a good shout from the support yeah. perspective. I think he definitely would be the support to choose out of the whole pool. So... That leaves team predictions. So can two... we start from the other side and leave yeah, sure. the, which team right, will win right. as the last? I like Ooh, it. Nice. Keep the listeners plugged in. Yeah. So they don't just... Well, because if, uh, if we started at the normal way, then we would just end with team that has the fewest different heroes <laughs> picked. The team that's just going to get stomped, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So let's get that one out of the way now. Team that picks the fewest different heroes. I've gone with Alliance. I was going to pick Keen Gaming, but I mean, this could really be anyone. It'll be a team that's not going to do great and doesn't have many options. Yeah. I don't really know much about Keen Gaming. I'm not sure about Infamous 2. I went Michelle. with Infamous because I think right, they'll right. get last. So. Yeah, I went with totally Keen fair. Gaming, thinking that they're just going to play some strats that they think they can do and not do very well and then go out. I think the Alliance can have a very player pool. I think they've got talented players that can play a bunch of stuff but yeah i see what you mean that they're also a team that's gonna have to specialize in like the one or two strats they're really good at to go far mm. i just think the it's individually hard. alliance players don't have that big player pool like quake he plays like brood and dk and lone, lone druid plays a bit storm too and but doesn't they people always talk about how oh, they're limited by quake was here then people like Boxy just loves Earthshaker so much. Insania loves Abaddon. Um, I mean, Insania will play a bunch of stuff, I suppose, like CM and all the rest of it. Um, Mickey loves, like, Morphling. And, I don't know. It could, that was just my thought was process, it but it could ins- be anyone. Insania that had that insane blink highlight. Did you see that blink highlight? I Where- might have. The enemy team was smoked on top of them. Earth, sh- Earth Spirit rolls in to their spin without buyback, and he sees the roll coming, and he's a Shadow Shaman, and he blinks in front to eat the stun, oh. so that so that Sven can like BKB, and they win the fight, and he buys back because the Sven crazy. didn't have buyback. So he, like he just sees and hears this Earth Spirit rolling, and he just like, Mr. President, get down! And he like jumps in front <laughs> of it. Yeah. <laughs> Insania was sick at the summit. I'm, I'm right. got a lot more um, back in for alliances just to su- to support them after watching them at the summit. They were good fun. Yeah, until they nerfed, until Valve nerfed two of their yeah, yeah. players. Like HUD UI feels bad. Wait, what? So explain. They like patched out alternate UI for the HUD like two Is- weeks. Do you know that thing game. you tried out, Stan, where you click on a oh, hero that and it thing comes up where on the you're right. Clicking it, the, the, you can't yeah. do that anymore. Yeah, it's gone. Taken out. Why? Why did they do that? I don't know. It wasn't even in the patch log, I don't think. That's If if pro players use that and have used that for years... Well, they're from Han. Point. It's apparently like the Han way of doing it. So, oh, yeah, that's two a of their... huge... That's actually a huge nerve if they have to look... Like, clicking on enemy heroes is a huge part of being good at Dota, and it's that works in a completely different way. That's going to mess people up for a little while, I imagine. Just make them yeah. at that split second slower. Um, I hope they re-add it back in. If they're going to take it away, just wait till TI, because you have pro players that actually use it. Yeah. No, I agree. Team that picks the most different heroes. Um, I've gone with Secret. Yeah, I went with Secret. I went with Secret. They do play a bunch of heroes. And they'll get far. 
Yeah. Team with the highest game length average. Um, the reigning champions. Oh, gee. That's my pick. Everyone knows they love a long game. If you watched TI last year, have you guys? What have you guys popped? I've gone for Snorri's Vici Gaming. <laughs> Snorri. <laughs> I decided to change it up, and I went with Ninjas in Pajamas. Oh, wow. Really? Yep. The Nip Boys. They go. Their games go long, relative to other teams. So I like maybe it. they're not a Snorri, but. Also, there's something to be said with maybe the, a team that has a fewer average of games. If they just have long games, uh, then it, you know they could like set a bar that the other teams can't reach if they keep playing more games. So, mm-hmm. I would like for Nip to have a lot of games played, but I just don't know. Yeah, my boy PPD, please. <laughs> team that wins the shortest game, um... Curtis Pro. Yeah, VP is, I think, probably will be the most popular pick. Um, I've actually gone for Team Liquid, though. Um, although, if I hadn't gone for TL, it would have been VP. Marco, what have you slapped here? I'm a big fan of LGD, and I'm and kind of a biased pick put them to win the shortest game where they slap them SA or NA team in a super dominant fashion. <laughs> right. It's kind of a random choice, but a bit of a biased choice. And team that wins the longest game? What have you put, put that? Vici gaming, obviously. <laughs> the Vici how many in... how many Vici's do you have in this set of tips? I have a painfully large amount of Vici in teams <laughs> yeah. and players. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's not over yet. I'll tell Marco's you. Marco's you're just like this team you hate. You're just yeah, like, I'm like, I hate you. You're going to be in the grand final. Marco is like got the most pessimistic TI. I mean, he he's got all his bases covered because either like it's a great TI in the games are really good and a team that he likes get into the final or Vici Gaming take every game to 100 minutes and win. <laughs> yeah. um, and in which case, Marco gets all his predictions right. So Hedging my TI experience. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I've gone with OG again for team that wins the longest game just because they won't GG and they might get lucky and get a comeback or something. Yeah, you know, I'm not, I'm not backing anyone. OG in any of these picks because I think all, all those iconic OG or... Dead long games, slogging it out, doing really well, winning TI. I'm not backing them to repeat the TIA that's, performance. That's 2018 OG. Yeah. 2019 OG, do they have the hunger? They're in do the they have the, the hatred to, to <laughs> yeah, push it's them? True. It's a true point, yeah. I think they'll fumble and I don't yeah, I don't I don't think they'll do well, but yeah. I think they'll they won't GG out. They're not because of last year, that in their heads they'll be like, "No, stay in games forever." I don't know. We'll see. Maybe they just get slapped out and they don't have any long games. I don't think they'll get slapped out. Yeah, they like a I don't think. Team. Yeah, I don't think they'll top four, but I don't think they'll get twelfth to sixteenth. I think they'll yeah. top eight. I agree. I think top eight. I like put eight. eight to twelve, yeah. maybe eight to ten. Sorry. What is that? Is is this year is like only the top eight main event? That's not the way it is, right? That was just. No, only two teams don't go to main event. Okay. Okay. So I think it's top 16 or something. Um, team with most assists in a game? I, Wait, I, I mean, this I is another I random one. I didn't answer my longest game. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. You Maybe. can do that, and then you can talk about it. Yeah, assists. Evil Geniuses. BG. That would be fun. I hope that go. happens. They, they usually have epic games, so... They do play longer average games. Um, not like... Maybe not the longest out of the set, but you know they're in the top quarter of, of game length. They seemed last TI they seemed very comfortable in the late game and just picking towards that. But this, yeah, all this is just like you know, you just need to be that one off. Yeah, game. for sure. Uh, most assists I went with Vici in a game. Long yeah. games lead to a lot of assists. Marco, my thinking on the most assists is which team is going to have. Kills where there's more, more, lots of heroes involved because then that's how you get the most assists. And so I've gone VP thinking that the whole team as a unit is super active. And so all these kills that they'll get, they'll be um, distributing a lot of assists. And say, yeah, someone like Vici, I wouldn't put because I mean, I don't think they'll get loads of kills. VP, I think they are going to get loads of kills. And yeah, they'll spread them a lot. 
So, yeah, I went with secret for this one. Um, no real explanation. It's a hard one. It's pretty random. Yeah. Team with fewest deaths in a game. I guess this is very similar to team that wins the shortest game. Um, I just put EG. I can just imagine EG winning some super cutthroat game where like no one dies. Um, ah, that's an interest. I didn't think about it in that way. That's a good way to look at it. Which team will win the shortest game? And on that note, I went PSG LGD. Who I think, oh, Marco, you picked for the shortest game, right? <laughs> that is true, yeah. I picked yeah. LGD for the shortest game. But I saw fewest deaths and just locked VG game in instantly. Not necessarily, yeah, not that they'll win the shortest <laughs> You're game. You're imagining but... some 60 minute slog yeah. snorry Ori where they die zero times <laughs> this far. Yeah, I'm just seeing them dying five times but winning in. 30 minutes still. But you're right that there could easily be a twenty a whitewash where a team doesn't die. Maybe I'll change it then, because I don't think Vici would be a game that whitewashed someone. Yeah, surely there's going to be a 3-2-2 two, two game. Like a 3-22 mm. to 22 kill score. I so. I'm going to change it to LGD, backing them with that shortest game win. Um, I'm backing LGD with, to get the highest kill average. Um, maybe gets a ton of kills. Rip Somnus, maybe again. Um, they're just a team that runs around getting kills in the last grand final. They were very active early game, running around getting lots of kills. Uh, I just think LGD could definitely see them getting a bunch of kills this TI. I'm back in the boys in blue saying EG will get the highest kill average. I'm backing them to lift the Aegis and on their way, slaughter of a lot of heroes. <laughs> okay. I went with Virtus Pro. Smart Virtus. CIS gamers know how to kill heroes. <laughs> That's true. You keep leading me into my next topic because I'm going with Virtus Pro for team of most kills in a game. VP love a long game, and the longer the game goes, like Adam said, CIS, they ain't sitting back and farming. They're running at you forever, so VP is my choice for most kills in a game. I also picked VP, and I just want to say that it hurts me to do that. Not a particularly big fan of them. Also, I don't like their new logo. It's just an orange V. Yeah, it's, I don't. Yeah. It's so boring to have that on my prediction page. You need a bear. Where's the bear gone? I'm yeah, sure the still Where is the bear? And on the uniforms and stuff. Wow. I feel like it's not consistently used as this orange V. Just. I mean, oh. at least it's orange and not. Are they are they purple and green still or what? Are they switching back to orange or? I think they've always had orange on the They went jerseys. like color change though. We'll see. I was thinking of maybe VP for most kills, but I've swung back to LGD. And I can see them being in, in one of these really long, if not one of the longest games, and having a bit of a bloodbath. So LGD. Interesting. That brings us to the big enchilada. 2,500 points. My goodness. I've never um, got it. I don't... Th oh, I got it at TI7. I got I put Liquid TI7. Um, Damn. But then at TI8, I have no idea what I put. I can't remember at all. Um, I'll start us off with this one because I feel like my prediction's the standard one. And that's Team Secret. They're so good. They're too good. And I know a lot of people will think, oh, they've been so good this DPC season and the team that dominates the DPC season doesn't usually go on to win TI, like thinking about Virtus Pro and two years ago and LGD last year, along with VP again. But Secret have just been a class apart and they just crush, man. They're too, too good. I don't know what you you guys have slapped for. Team will win. I am not hedging my bets and I'm saying EG will win. I'm going <laughs> all eggs in that basket. Well, they broke the third place curse at Birmingham, so maybe there's only one more step, right? Samail so and S4 are going to become double goats, double TI winning goats. I'm praying. And so I'm lumping it on EG. Well, both of our, if Secret or well, yeah, EG Secret win, win, then it'll be, a double, it'll be a double TI for the first time, two time winner. Puppy goat. Can't be arsed with Puppy being a goat. I'm not even into <laughs> Secret either. I, I put Secret in my bottom eight for certain. So, I also wouldn't want to predict them. <laughs> yeah. 
That's, that's I don't hate. I'm happy to run through our top eight teams, and I'm pretty sure Secret won't make it into mine. All right, I'll do that after once Adam's excuse, given him. Excuse me. Once Adam's <laughs> given us his. Adam's baffled. As much as it pains it's me, the scientist baffled. I, I'm going with OG. What? As, no. Let's go, <laughs> Seb. Go, <laughs> no, Seb. Go. No, I'm go Team Secret. Oh That's my god. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think they are really strong. I, I mean, it's like kind of lame to put the strongest team all year, but I think they're reasonably clutch gamers as opposed to Virtus Pro last year kind of already had the reputation that they were going to flame out at yeah. TI. And I think Zai is a god gamer. So I'm going to go with Zai. I always felt bad that he didn't get that uh, EG TI. He kind of bookended yeah. it. Um yeah, but in my like heart of hearts, I would hope EG wins. That's yeah. um, I would be yeah. happy with either Zai or RTZ being getting their first TI would be just it would make my year. <laughs> I do think another um, feather in Secrets Cap is TI. The longer it goes on, the drafting mind games um, and just drafting in general and puppies. Surely the best drafter in Dota at, at the moment. He's just so good. Um, they don't lose like best of fives. I just can't see them losing a best of five. Obviously, it's hard to get to the final, but this team's clutch. They know how to win. All right, Marco called it. The these top five. We'll probably we'll do a pod at some point where we preview the group stages, like a preview pod or something, just before the the actual tournament starts. So. We'll do that properly then, but we can r quickly run through. Marco, you were keen to go through your top eight, so I'll let you hit away. I, I meant reckon? favorite teams, not necessarily who's placed, not oh, placing. Okay. I meant just oh, you said, oh, I see. Just well, okay, well that that's not controversial at all. Yeah, yeah that's kind of just an opinion confused. piece. I yeah. thought you were saying that they were going to get oh, bottom eight at the no, end. yeah, that's <laughs> what I thought you were saying. No, they're obviously going to place top six. I'm just saying in terms of my favorite teams. Because right. they're like one of my bottom half favorite, I wouldn't want to put them as the team that wins TI. Oh, as well. What's your go on? Order the teams then. Give, give me your favorite teams then. Okay, right, what so... do you want to do? Top three or top five? Or... Uh, so go if on, you... do top five. What's your who's your top five favorite teams, Marco? So yeah, think about who I'd support if I was watching games. One, eg. Two, <gasps> cop the fuck up, bro. Uh, one, <laughs> two. I'd say it's, it's VP and then three LGD, but I feel like those two, I actually need to watch a game where they both play each other to to know who I'd support. I'd struggle. I'm not Fair sure. Enough, yeah. And then after those three, honestly, um, I might be putting Alliance four and now just rooting for the old school Alliance boys to do well. And then five, who would I root for? I'm not sure there's any other teams left that I'd actively want to win. I just really? more want the not even to, like to be fun. NIP, Chaos, OG. Oh, I don't think I'd really care about... I guess it, maybe you'd say, yeah, okay, I'd want any Western team to win right, more yeah. than an Eastern just because of like personal preference of the players. But specifically who I'd put fifth team that I'd actively support and root for to win games wouldn't really have one. Na'Vi, Na'Vi, Na'Vi. Oh, God. Maybe Na'Vi, yeah. Maybe no. not. I think we've got a few players, but I quite quite like playing some pubs with. So I'll give it maybe them. Who are your favourite teams out of? You can give any uh, number if you want. Eg, always, and and then after that's a huge. It's a big drop off. I mean, really, PPD not strong enough. Well, yeah. I mean, it would be like Nip second, and then yeah. Secret. For the, I mean, I like their players. I've had a complicated relationship with Secret. They've gone through many <laughs> iterations, right? I didn't like the first version. I didn't like the super team with Kuroki and, you know, all that. Mm -hmm. um, but then, the, you know, they got RTZ. I like that team. Then they had Envy for a while. That team was pretty cool. But I like this version. All right. And oh, then I, mm. uh, fourth, I'd probably go with Newbie. Support yeah. NA. Oh, yeah, it's been yeah. NA. Go with uh, yeah, CC and C. 
It's so weird I like that newbie. I just can't get the yeah. like SCCC Chinese newbie out of my head. Yeah, it is weird. And then fifth would probably be PSG. PSG. Yeah, that's fair. LG. Yeah. It's in, for me, it's like interesting because the, there's teams that I'd love to win, but like, the, so for example, NIP, for example, I wouldn't really cheer for them in games unless they're in the grand final. And if they're in the grand final, I'd cheer for them basically versus anyone. Because I just want if PPD won the ages again, it would just be amazing. It'd be like the funniest thing ever. Because I, I mean, I'm a bit. I think in sports in general, I just like almost the meme aspect of it. Like it's kind of hard to put into words, but almost I'm like a troll fan. If you know you what are I mean. a troll when it comes to <laughs> who you root for. Yeah, like the joy of like the best part about OG winning again would be your reactions. It wouldn't even be. <laughs> it wouldn't even be my reaction. It'd be um, that we'd be so upset, yeah. or I would be so mad. It's just the fact that I would be able to say that Seb's the GOAT and you wouldn't be able to argue with it. That would be the funniest thing <laughs> oh, ever. I think I might quit, though. <laughs> this couldn't be happen. <laughs> Go watch League of Legends. Yeah. Um, but that said, OG have always been my favourite team since I got into Dota, so I would still put them at the top. And then after that, um, after that, it's kind of hard to say. Uh... Honestly, I don't really want Liquid to win it again. I just think uh, I don't. I don't, I don't really want Liquid to win it again. Maybe Secret actually after that. Uh, I, I didn't yeah. use. I didn't used to like Secret, but after watching them at Birmingham, I really like them. Just the way they played, I thought was really, really good to watch. Like really exciting. And I, know, I really I like Zai. Yeah, Zai is the to me the only player on Secret. Who I used to. Any... I used to not like Zai, which is funny. Mate, this is what's going to be happening with Crit. Crit's just Zai. You'll come no, out Crit, the, Crit is the actual deadest player ever. Oh man! Honestly, I think if 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 EG won TI, Crit would like not want to touch the Aegis. He'd just like have his hands in his pocket, like yeah. doing a Sumail TI five. Like, what are you talking play. about? Do you not remember when he brutalized No Tail in that hallway? <laughs> the he, he lowered his shoulder and just tackled him in the hallway as they passed by. I mean, yeah. I can't believe they didn't suspend him from TI for that egregious affront. Oh, That's assault. Crit. That's the biggest assault no tells ever felt. Yeah. The rest of his life, he's been in his bedroom. So, I do like read it. Made me so mad over that. They were just, it's like wrestling or from the top rope yeah. with no regard for human life. Here's oh. a shout, actually. So I'm gonna go. I've, I'm gonna go OG. Then I'll go Secret. Then I'll go Fnatic. I really like Fnatic. Actually, thinking about it, like Ice yeah. Ice Ice, Abed, I really like, DJ. I really like DJ, I really like Jabs. They're all cool. Yeah, that would be I my top three. Cool. I don't want LGD to win. I just don't. I just don't really. The only the only upside of LGD winning is that the like goat discussion goes on because no one's won TI twice. So that's the upside of them winning. Um, on Fy God. Yeah, Fy God, but he's never won TI. So right, I'm just saying like. He but deserves yeah, one. He, yeah, you could say that. And then, so I guess I would go OG, Secret, Fnatic, NIP. And then after that, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't really have a If fourth. FY won this TI, his TI performances just on his Wikipedia have him as a strong contender for GOAT. He's got Certainly. second, fourth, second in his TI experience. And that's from 2014 onwards. So the more competitive TIs. Then if he's mm. to win it, I mean, yeah, Puppy's got those second, second, first, second, second, sure, but a bit watered down. Anyway, Secret, yeah, they play well and dominant, etc. But there's only Zai as a player that I have any fandom for. You don't like Puppy? I can't. I know. I'm not. I'm not into Puppy as a as a player. He does. Uh, like, I like solo, Puppy. I'm solo off. Even Fly, honestly, I'd be like, yeah, way more receptive. Better watch your monitor, sir. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Solos. I guess solo's alright. I don't mind solo. Yeah, I like VP, I like Yapsaw. I like Yapsaw. Nova. I like mid one as well. I don't Nisha I whatever, I don't care. Nisha's dead. Nisha's dead. Mid you hate one. mid one? I, I'm really not into mid one though. I think he's I'm really not into him. Yeah. He's so good though. So I mean they're all I think he's mid overrated. Also. I hate this mid one hype. Maybe it's because I'm like everyone thinks mid one's so good and actually to male's the best, so everyone needs to shut up. <laughs> <laughs> to fail. Or no one. I'd put to no fail. one. Male. 
Uh, she fail S forehead. Maybe. And then instead of shit, at, my well, favorite, yeah, just shit. One. Shit is just the best yeah. one. Uh, yeah. I say that as an EG fanboy. I just think there the are ne- some great negative ones. nicknames yeah. are just the best. OG has some good ones as well, like uh, F Dog and sorry J Dog. F Dog is who's F Dog? Can't remember who F Dog is. That's someone on. But like Flopson's a good one, and No Flopson, Brain's a yeah. good one. No Brain. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> GG and G is a good one as well. <laughs> oh, there's so many good ones. Uh, Ori Snorri, that's one that is on on us to start that one. Yeah, Ori Res- Snorri. Ori yeah, Snorri, Resident class. Sleeper. Yeah. Um, I mean that's all the predictions then, and a little bonus favorite teams. Well, there's one more uh, prediction. Get serious is uh is Cuckoo gonna make it out of China alive? <laughs> oh, <God>. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. I feel like there's a Valve employee, like a well, there isn't actually. I, I suppose there isn't a community manager, but if there was one, he's just sweating in his office, hoping that some cuckoo drama doesn't reignite before TI. It's like one week to go. All the orgs have their players on the best behavior. Yeah, it should be fine. So yeah, that's new meta episode thirty nine. Hopefully, we can all bathe in some free points once the predictions. Once the prediction scores are granted after TI. Um, But until episode 40, we'll see you shortly. Bye. GG.